Did you call bank? I call bank. What's up, Pack Nation? It is Pack here, and in today's video, I actually want to talk about the national teams of basketball, specifically the FIBA national basketball teams. The FIBA teams have actually been getting a lot of news lately because everybody is dropping out of Team USA, which sucks to hear. But because the FIBA World Cup is starting in August and also next year during the summer, the Olympics are going to happen where we have all the best national teams play against each other for their country. I wanted to see what 10 teams or national teams should be added for NBA 2K20. They did this back in NBA 2K16 where they had the national USA team and they also had the Australian national team and you could play with both those teams and they did that for the Olympics. I'm hoping they're going to do this again for NBA 2K20 for the FIBA World Cup and also the Olympics. That's what I'm really hoping for. So how I made this list is I found the 10 teams that had the most NBA players that are also in a national team and I believe those 10 teams should be added for NBA 2K20. Before this video starts, be an OG, join the Pack Nation and subscribe. Also, if you want to win a free copy of NBA 2K20, I'm giving away five in my giveaway. If you want to enter it, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram and you will be entered into a randomizer and you could win one copy. Either it's going to be one Legend Edition copies or four regular editions. So if you want to win, get on that. Now, I'm going to start at number 10 with Germany. Germany has exactly six NBA players on their current roster and also great talent. And we're not even counting Dirk, who, if you want to add on this team, I guess you could. But we have Dennis Schroeder, who is their best player right now. They also have still Maxi Klebler. They also have Daniel Tice, Mo Wagner, and also Isaac Bonga, and also Isaiah Hardenstein. They actually have six players who are in the NBA that are all German and that play for the FIBA national basketball team. Like low-key, this team would be pretty nice. Sure, most of the players that are in the NBA aren't great players, but you still have Dennis Schroeder leading the team. And if you want to add Dirk, you could do that also. That'd be pretty cool. I think this is a pretty cool team to do. I think the jerseys are also raw when it has Deutschland across of it and it also has really cool colors, red, yellow, and also black. It's cool jerseys, a pretty cool team. They definitely need to add it, but it's not the best team. That's why it's at number 10 on this list, but I'm pretty excited if they add them. The next team I want to talk about at number nine with also six NBA players on the team is Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico has six NBA players. Their best player right now is Jonathan Isaac, who sometimes plays for the national basketball team. He doesn't do it all the time, but he does play for them. Shabazz Napia, who also plays for the national team. JJ Barea, who's known as their best player, usually. Maurice Harkless, who's also on the team. John Holland, who doesn't get a lot of NBA minutes or anything, but he is in the NBA sometimes. And also Tyler Davis, who also doesn't get a lot of time in the NBA, but he is an NBA player on the team. This team has a lot of young talent. They actually are surprising a lot of people. They, I'm surprised they made it to the FIBA World Cup in the first place. A team of Jonathan Isaac, Shabazz Napier, JJ Barea, you have no like raw, super great player on this team and they still made it that's how good this team is they have a lot of chemistry and Jonathan Isaac only 21 years old is only gonna get better and they have the sickest jerseys out of all the national teams look how cool that logo is literally ridiculous I'm excited and I really hope they add them into NBA 2k20 the next team at number eight is Brazil now if your best player is Nene, you know you're not going to have the best team in the world, but they have a lot of NBA players with a total of eight in the entire team. They may not all be good, and years ago they were much better, but they still have NBA talent, and that's why they should be in this game. Nene at their best player at 77 overall, Raul Neto, who is also on the team, Anderson Vergeau, who's been on the team forever. You could argue he's one of their best players in the national team's history. Lucas Nigeria, who's also on the team. Marcelo Huertas, I don't think he's on the NBA rosters anymore, but they do have his face scan, so they could still add him anyways. They still have Cristiano Felicio on the team. Leonardo Barbosa, who's still on the team, even though he's older, he's still on the team. Bruno Capcolo, who's two years away from being two years away. Literally stacked of talent. If your worst player is the GOAT, then you're obviously going to be an amazing team. No. For real though, Brazil though has a lot of talent, even though they're all older, they have a lot of NBA players and that's why they should be added for NBA 2K20 because they're stacked with NBA players. On that note, there are teams that have great NBA players on them, but they have nobody else. There's teams like the Dominican Republic that have Carl Anthony Towns and Al Horford, 
but that was like it. And then there's also teams like Serbia who have five NBA players and they're all pretty good, but they only have five. Like Nikola Jokic. I paid more attention to how many players that they could even add into the game. That's why I have them on the list. And that's why some teams missed out, right? The next team is Croatia at number seven, and they actually have eight NBA players on the roster. Croatia has Bojan Bogdanovic, who was the best player on the Pistons last year, just because Victor Lodipo was injured. Dario Saric, who's always been a pretty solid player in the NBA. Mario Hizonia, who's the most cocky player in the NBA. Zubac is only getting better and have you noticed all these guys are pretty young They have Ante Tomic's face cam because he used to be in the NBA Ante Zizic who they have Dragon Bender as you notice all these guys are 21 years old Lucas Simantic is now on the Spurs He's a Spurs rookie at 18 years old literally like low-key this team has a lot of talent and in like five years This could be a really good national team. They're all young except for Bojan Bogdanovic who's also I mean, he's pretty older, he's 29. But everybody else is super young in their like early 20s. This team is gonna be really good right now and it's gonna be even better in the future. They have to for sure be added into NBA 2K20. At number six, it is Australia, who was already added in NBA 2K20, but I actually want to talk about them here. So, Ben Simmons has already announced he's not gonna play for the FIBA World Cup team, but he did announce he's going to play for the Olympic team for sure. So, because of this, I still have them on the team. Ben Simmons as their best player. Your best player is an 87 overall on 2K, and apparently he can shoot jump shots now. Like, Ben Simmons is about to be ridiculously good. You still have Jingles, who has proven to be a good player. He's been an 80 overall before. Patty Mills, NBA champion. Aaron Baines, NBA champion. Andrew Bogut, former first-round pick in the draft. Dante Exum, who always has, like, the potential to be good, but, like, doesn't get there yet, right? Matthew Delvadova, NBA champion. Thon Maker, literally the GOAT. This team is absolutely stacked to the brim of NBA talent. All who, this is not only NBA talent, this is all players that have proven themselves before. This is a ridiculously good team with really good veterans and a great young talent. Like Australia's good right now and they're expected to be good for the future. That's how good Australia is and that's why they needed to be on this list. Now we are at number five with Greece with nine NBA players on the team. We start with the obvious, the MVP of the NBA, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And if you're like, well, that's all they got, you're wrong. They also have Nick Kalethis, who was pretty good in the NBA when he played, and they already have his face scan. So even though he's not in the NBA right now, they have his face scan and everything. They have Kosta Kufos, who's a proven NBA center. Kostas Papa Nikolaou, who was okay for his first season in the NBA, but only got worse, but he's still a good player. The entire Antetokounmpo family with Thanasis. Tyler Dorsey, who isn't great yet, but he's an NBA player who is also Greek. You have Georges Papayanis. Naz Metri Long, who's an NBA player, and also Kostas, the younger brother, Antetokounmpo. And eventually, the two other Antetokounmpos are also going to make it in the NBA, and they're also going to be on the national team. This team is stacked with talent, all NBA players for the most part. There's a couple of people who aren't, but they're also really good players in EuroLeague. Like, this team is ridiculously good, and it needs to be added for NBA 2K20 if you're going to add national teams. You have to. And now at number four, the rest of these teams are going to be expected ones with Spain. Now, their best player of Marcus Gasol, who has been a really good player for Spain for a long time. You also have Serge Oblaka. A lot of people don't know he's Spanish. He is. He plays for the Spanish national team. You have Nicola Miritich, who also plays for the Spanish national team, who doesn't play in the NBA anymore. He's in Europe now, but he would play for the national team. Ricky Rubio, who isn't bad at all for being your starting point guard for a national team. You have Pau Gasol, who was the best player for Spain for a long time. Not as good as he used to be, but he's still good enough to be on the team. They used to have Sergio Yui's face scan in the game. Sergio Rodriguez also has his face scan in the game because he was in the NBA for a little bit. Willie Hernan Gomez, who almost won Rookie of the Year a couple years ago. Rudy Fernandez, who they also had the face scan for. Juan Hernan Gomez, who was in the NBA and had some good moments with the Nuggets. Jose Calderon, who's also on the team. And Alex O'Brien, who y'all think is my cousin. That's, I think, at least 10 or 11 players who are NBA players that are on this list. Spain is actually ridiculously good and have a lot of NBA talent and they've been consistent for a long time Their jerseys are also pretty raw. I love how it says España on it pretty raw I think they should be added for NBA 2K20 for sure. The next team at number three is France So France best player is Rudy Gobert defensive player of the year 87 overall They have Nano Decolo who has been tearing up EuroLeague and was also pretty good with the Spurs and won an NBA championship Evan Fournier who's pretty good with the Magic Tony Parker, who I don't think is officially playing with them anymore, but if they wanted to add him, I guess they could, right? Nicholas Batum, who's actually straight cheeks, honestly. Jeffrey Laverne, who has his moments. Frank Nilakina, who's also pretty bad, but good enough to 
be on the France national team, right? The rookie, Seko Damboya, I'm sure I mispronounced that, who is looking pretty good so far. Jan Mahinmi, who's also an NBA champion. Kevin Serafin, who's a good player. Timothy Luwau Kabarat, another pretty good solid talent who was on the Sixers for a long time. Gershon Yabusala, the tank. There's so much talent here. Like, look at this. There's at least 12 players here that are in the NBA. Stacked to the brim with NBA starters. Do I think France will win anything? No, I mean, obviously USA is gonna beat all these teams, but do I think they should be added into the game? Absolutely, it'd be really cool. The next team at number two is All Canada at number two. Now Tristan Thompson is apparently the best player on Canada, but the problem here with Canada is that Tristan Thompson and also Andrew Wiggins have announced that they will not be playing in the FIBA World Cup, but they might be playing in the Olympics, so they could still be added kind of, but Tristan Thompson, who was pretty good with the Cavs last season, even though they sucked. RJ Baird, who's their best young player, drafted by the Knicks. There's a reason he was the third pick in the draft. Jamal Murray, 81 overall. He's shown in the playoffs last season he's really good. Andrew Wiggins can be really good when he wants to be. Shai Gilgis Alexander, 78 overall for only 20 years old. Kelly Olynyk, he's proven himself to be a pretty good player in the NBA. Dwight Powell's solid. Trey Lyles is also pretty solid. Dylan Brooks is okay. Norman Powell is also okay. Won an NBA championship, though. Corey Joseph, pretty good player. Also won an NBA championship. Ken Birch is okay. Nick Stauskas is also okay. Chris Boucher destroys the G League. There's so much talent on Canada. If everyone in USA keeps dropping out, I think Canada might shock the world and uh, might pull an upset on USA. That's if Tristan Thompson and Andrew Wiggins play, which it looks like they're not going to. But everyone is super young on this team. If they stick with Canada, they could be ridiculously good in the future and maybe one day pass USA and beat them in the Olympics. We'll see though, right? And finally, at number one, who else? It is Team USA. Now, we don't know exactly who's gonna play for the FIBA team because it's all over the place and everyone's dropping out. But if we're ignoring the FIBA World Cup and we're looking at Olympics, we know Kawhi Leonard is on the team. Damian Lillard, Jimmy Butler, Paul George, Victor Oladipo, Andre Drummond, Draymond Green, DeAndre Jordan, Campbell Walker, Blake Griffin, Kyle Lowry, Tobias Harris, Harrison Barnes, Miles Turner, CJ McCollum, and that's just some of the players. They could add so many more. Let's say they all drop out and you replace them all with the next best thing. They're still the best national team in the world. USA is ridiculously good, and they need to add them. They really should. That would be exciting. But what do you guys think? Is there a national team that I'm missing that you want to be added? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like my channel, give it a sub. And I'll see you guys next time. Did you call a bank?